All right, this will be the number, uh, the questions 27 and 28 of the APAB uh, test. This is the end of the first section, and again, on these first set of problems, you're not allowed to use a calculator, so that's going to be one of the distinctions. Um, 27, they want us to integrate x times the square root of x plus 3. Again, the first thing I would do, the same thing as if I'm taking derivatives. When I'm taking antiderivatives, I like to rewrite things um, with exponents instead of radical notation. The first thing I think is, well, is there any algebra? But we can't multiply things out because of this one-half power. So again, the trick on this one is just going to be a u substitution. And what we'll do is we'll let u equal the inside stuff, x plus 3. The differential will get simply 1 dx. <clears throat> so if we go to replace things, notice inside the parentheses, that's what I'm calling u. So we would have u to the 1 half power. dx is the same thing as du. <clears throat> the only thing we have left to replace is the x. But I can take my original u substitution, subtract 3 from both sides, and I'll get that u minus 3 is the same thing as x. So it says x is u minus 3, so that's what I'm going to plug in for x. I'll have u minus 3 times u to the 1 half. Well, now this is just an algebra problem. I can now distribute the u to the 1 half out to both parts. Okay, so again, we have to add exponents. We'll get u to the 1 and a half, or u to the 3 halves, minus 3u to the 1 halves power. And now we just have to be careful when we calculate our antiderivative. So when we add 2 over 2, we'll get 5 over 2. We have to divide by 5 over 2, but that's equivalent to multiplying by 2 fifths. Um, I would get u, again, if I add 2 over 2, we'll get 3 over 2. But now I have to multiply that. Um, again, if I divide by 3 halves, that's equivalent to multiplying by 2 thirds. I have to stick on my plus c. And now it's just a matter of simplifying and plugging back in your substitution. So there's not much to do here at the beginning. Um, it says we're going to get um, 2 fifths. u is x plus 3 to the 5 halves. Um, here the 3's will cancel, so we'll get minus 2u, again, which is x plus 3 raised to the, um, whoops, raised to the 3 halves power plus c, and that'll be our answer, okay? 2 fifths x plus th 3 to the 5 halves minus 2 times x plus 3 raised to the 3 halves power. All right, last but not least um, in this section, um, number 28, the very last one. And number 28 here says, okay, another derivative problem. It says if f of x equals ln of ln of 1 minus x, it says then f prime of x equals what? Okay, so again, this is just a do you know your formulas type of problem more than anything. Remember the derivative of ln of some stuff. It could be kind of complicated what's next to the ln. The derivative formula, remember, it says we get 1 over whatever's next to the ln, but then we have to multiply it by the derivative of what's kind of next to the ln. <clears throat> okay, so don't be confused if the fact that there's two lns in this problem. Think about the, um, so we have an ln, and then think about the ln of 1 minus x as being our f of x portion of this formula. So it says when we take the derivative, it says, okay, we get 1 over the stuff, which is, well, ln of 1 minus x. And now, according to this, it says we have to multiply by the derivative. So I'm going to write it out. We have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside. Well, the stuff inside, we still have an extra ln left over. So when we take the derivative of that part, again, the first part we're done with. So I'm kind of writing this, this, this problem out a little bit more in depth. Um, okay, so now we have to take the derivative of the ln portion. I would get 1 over 1 minus x. And now if you multiply by the derivative of the inside, we'll pick up a negative 1 term, or factor. 
Um, and I think there's not a lot to do here. The way they simply rewrite this is they pull the negative out front. Again, this is all being multiplied in the bottom. They pull the 1 minus x out first, and then they multiply that by ln of 1 minus x. And again, so don't forget about your negative. That would be your solution in this case. So, all right, part one of the AP, AB test down. Um, I'm definitely going to keep doing some more of these um, sooner or later. Again, I think if you went through all these problems, you'll see that they're pretty basic, but there's just a lot of little formulas and just a lot of little things to remember. Um, I don't think any one of these problems was super difficult, but um, again, if you don't remember some little formula or some identity, um, you're kind of kind of dead in the water. So, all right. I hope these examples again help. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to do some more. So feel free to post comments and questions, and hopefully, um, hopefully we can get you going in the right direction. All right. Good luck out there.